Hello, this is Joseph from Gorilla Threading. In this tutorial, you'll be learning the um, how to create functions within your cl um, class. If you don't know what a class is, don't worry about it. I'll be going, I'll be going over in the next few tutorials. But basically, um, we've been doing all of our code within a, a function. So, within the same class, which is main, we can create a new function and we're going to set it as public don't worry about what public means just know that you have to have it for now and let's go ahead and say what our function is going to return um, at this point it's not going to return anything so we can do void saying it's going to return nothing and then just name it saying um, print number and then we do our um, curly or our brackets and curly brackets. Now we want to print a number, so we have to define what the function inputs. So in order to run this function, we're going to say it requires an integer, which we're going to name um, number or num. Then we're going to do um, close. Then we're going to do system dot out dot print line and Let's go ahead and print. We learned how to convert variables, so, so we're going to do integer dot val or to string. It's another way to convert a variable. Um, then we do num. All right. So now, if we want to run this within our main segment of code, where it says to do code application logic here, we're going to do print number and let's say that the number is going to be 10. So now if we run it, it's going to print 10 when it finishes compiling. Oh, yeah, great. Um, one of the complexities of Java is um, in the main class is to find a static and you cannot have dynamic um, values within your static um, function. So just go ahead and add static right above or right between public and void. So um, now we go ahead and rerun this and it'll print out 10. Alright. Um, another way to another one or another way of a function let's say that we want to print um, instead of saying print number we do public static and instead of void we're going to have this return a string so we do string and we're going to do um, string to actually number to string And then we're going to have our number here, so we go int num and our curly brackets. And then we're going to go ahead and do, we're going to type in return for the keyword, and all this is saying is that we're going to return something which has to be a string. So we're going to do integer dot to string. And then we just type in num. So, say we wanted to print a number, but instead of printing it through that function, we're going to print it through um, the standard output one. So, system dot out dot print line, and we're going to say our function number to string. And we're going to put in 10, and we're going to print this out. And there you have it. Again, if you want to have this return, say, like an array of integers, you just, just define it just like you define a variable, and you put the brackets there. Um, and that's pretty much it for now for functions within Java. 
I'll be going a little bit more in depth about what public and static and, and void. Actually, I just showed you what void meant, but public and, and private and other things within the classes.